So we don't know what's going to happen now. We know that once it passes ways and means and it gets to the floors, to the floor, we have spoken to and sent videos, a documentary, Save the Brave, that I was in and three other with three other responders. We sent that video to members of Congress and we visited every single member, every single member of Congress we visited. We got, I would say, 90% that will vote yes for H.R. 847. So we know that this bill will pass. The problem is we got a couple of assholes that won't put it up in their committees. So what I'm asking all of you to do is to call your local congressman and tell them to get up off their fat asses Tell them to get up off their leather seats and get H.R. 847 passed for the 9-11 first responders, for the families, for the people that lived near Ground Zero, and, from the and for the children of the Stuyvesant School that are suffering severe pulmonary problems. On 9-11, we gave our hearts and our souls. We did everything to bring back family members to their, to the, we, we did everything to bring back remains to, their, to the family members, to those that we couldn't bring back. On behalf of responders, I apologize to you. We worked our asses off and we're suffering today. I stand before you a sick and dying man and I will continue I tell Manny, I direct this at you, I will continue to advocate for 9-11 responders and for the families of 9-11 respond, of 9-11 victims until I take my last breath. You have my word on that. Bobby, you have my word on that. And in closing, I just want to say that there is a lady that's going to speak this afternoon. Oh boy, are you in for a treat. This lady, I idolize this lady. Why? Because she believes in the same things that I believe in. What the hell are we doing in Iraq? We don't belong in Iraq. Iraq did not attack us. Afghanistan and Osama bin Laden attacked us. Why did we go into Iraq and we are killing innocent people? And our new president lied to us. We're going to bring about change. I'm going to bring the soldiers home. Where are our soldiers? They're still getting shot at and killed and dealing with IEDs. He's another liar. We need to change government. And how we change government is with everybody in this room right now. I could go on and on, but I know we're behind schedule. So the last thing I want to say is I want you to think of this figure. We spend $300 billion a month. No, we, send, we spend $300 billion on the war on terror. Yeah, we spend $300 billion a month on the war on terror. Then you tell me why we can't pass H.R. 847, which is a bill that's worth $11 billion over 30 years. Three billion, no. It's eleven. Billion. Okay. <laughs> Trust me, I've done the. Re I've done it, and I know you have too. You're very well versed on it. But in closing, the lady that you're going to hear this afternoon, Cindy Sheehan, yeah. peace activist. That's what we need in our world. We need a little bit of peace. And what do the 9/11 responders want? 
a little bit of dignity and respect for the hard work we gave and we want to be compensated. We don't want an extra dime. We want to be compensated for the injuries that we sustained. So please call your local congressman and tell them to pass H.R. 847. Call Frank Pallone's office. Let's get 847 passed. May God bless you all and thank you for attending.